not too far away. To do what? Protection? To judge. Yeah. <laughs> you can just like sit in your rope and judge people. You have to be <laughs> kind of closer. But not much. Oh. Spread is a freaking nasty thing. Can I see it? Yes, yes, yes. Switch it now, I hate this one. By the way, I love like the, the spiritualists uh, passing through things. It's not entirely useful like all the time, but it's it's freaking awesome. Have you tried it? No, because there's just the button. The right click, the scroll to the name. So you found it. Okay. Uh, the the high voltage last tree thing is so strong, it's ridiculous. The, the what? The high voltage R for voltage. The, the Decker, yeah. Like, it's insane how strong it is. Yeah. Like, there's no mana cost. Essentially. Mm hmm. Mm, yeah, no, that's kind of true. I think I'll reduce the damage a bit. Like, I, I like it that it's um, significantly more spammable than the rest, so you have like an option of having like a much more fast paced attack if you want. Fucking good. But it's a bit overkill, yeah. Yeah, it's insane. It's like even with half damage, it would make sense. Yeah. Is there something to. Um, well, the, the approach I've taken here is to basically simplify and group things together. So, for example, you might notice that everything that does um, CC, like stun and root, etc., mm -hmm. does the same amount of damage as the, dis as the CC duration. Yeah. Uh, you might notice that every attack has the same cost, every mobility has the same cost, every... These are... Not necessarily the best choices, but they help a lot with simplifying the whole combat which For a small game, it was a bit more complex than I would like it to be. Yeah, that makes sense. So I'll, I'll see if I can maintain this while, you know, maintaining some form of balance between the spells. But of course, if it's going to be a broken game, I will, I'll, I'll ditch the neatness and I'll go for... Yeah, um... Oh, I feel, uh, yeah, see, I don't know how to... Yeah, I want to like I wanted to establish a base today, like have this um, new combat system basically, because it's not new combat system, but it's uh, it's kind of a rhythm, small one, but still affects like the whole thing in that sense a rhythm, um, and then play like a few more matches with people, like not just on one v one, yeah, and seeing how the whole thing like acts together. Yeah, with actual people. Yeah, because I'm, I'm like inclined to say that, okay, for a game like this, like 1v1, mainly plus bots, uh, the dagger is definitely overpowered, like upon your rushes, but um, I, I don't know what's gonna happen when I have like four people on me who are just kiting me, for example. Does it matter that it, it is spammable when I can't get close to them? Or? Right. Now, this yeah. is the real task. Let's see your TO. Let me see if I can tell you. Yeah. Hey, you had the... oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I had the 
I am not sure if it. Can you hit me again with it? I'm not sure if I get the, like the damage from it. Like uh, if I if I see the damage text. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, I seen it. I well, yeah, when I was seeing it before, I was seeing it for a second. Yeah, uh, just like the your color on the on this map isn't like super visible. Yeah, hatred needs an indicator of when it's gonna pop or something. Yeah, yeah, I know. It, it's like a round number, it's every two seconds, it's not like some random thing. So, but it's, it's still like, it needs a visual indication. I just killed everyone on the map. <laughs> yep. Ah! No, that's horrible. I like this go. It's a teleport. I can either teleport in, or I can teleport out and cause fire to get people trapped with me. The cease, the cooldown on teleport, very, very good. Huh? Uh, the fact that it was increased, you mean? Yeah. Mm hmm. Actually, wow, I really like that. The build, the guy eh? earlier who was talking about pure skill trees. Mm -hmm. If you remember, I don't know. I don't know. See, I don't know what he was actually like. He was really trying to appeal to people who were just like casually, but even for casuals, well, why wouldn't you like mix and match? I feel like no one would want to stick to the same. There are, you know, there's like, um, there's something for everyone, uh, that's for sure. So, for example, I, I feel enough people would like a, a cutie cutter build, something that's like meant to be really good and they don't have to think a lot. They don't have to think, okay, but I have this spell with that spell. As a, no, I have this set. It, it clicks easier in their brain, less info to memorize, sort of thing. But for it to not be a superficial thing, it needs to click together as a whole, like, you know, uh, and that not gonna happen. I mean, not any more so than any other combo, right? Because then you'd be playing favorites and then you'd be kind of forcing people to play that. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden from the back door you've taken away, like, the key thing of this game, which is free customization. In theory, everything should make sense with everything. It doesn't, because it's like super insanely difficult to balance 3,000 combinations, but that's what I'm going for, not the, the sets. Hmm. Destroyed by bots. You know it's really broken? This. What? Hello? Game? Oh god, please respond. <laughs> <laughs> no, why didn't you do? Well, you're pretty broken now. <laughs> okay, one second, let me see if that works. Now I'm confused. Okay, it still works. That's Yeah. Uh. Oh, I didn't turn off hatred. <laughs> it's like not <note> self. <laughs> Oof, the one thing like uh, Nitwolf was right about was that there's like too much um, neon stuff going on, like... Josh, what neon? Neon, as in um, too much uh, highly saturated uh, HDR textures, basically. Like oh. things that are just too... too uh, how do you say that? Too much bloom plus... Uh, oh, uh, it's, it's like too bright? Or yeah, 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 some things are like too bright, it, it burns, basically. 
like the this fear is in the fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like now you play your screen and say, like, oh, now it's on the iron giant. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, you can now move around in, um, uh, as you're waiting for other people. You can also hotkey, sorry, you can, you also have a shortcut for queuing for matches with the top left icon. Oh, you just kind of goes to normal. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Yeah. What do I want to try now? Ah. No. Oh, hello. Yay. Hey, and we can type. Oh my god, perfect. I... <laughs> there are some small things like, for example, having the chat or being able to move around that you don't, you don't see as a developer because you're like, <laughs> you have everything else in your mind and you miss out the, some small details that really, really are quality of life. Did I die? No, I didn't die. I thought we almost started a parrot. Uh, can't believe it. No, fuck. Quiet. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Full HP. Actually, no, no. Be back. My little hiding. Oh man, like the the cleave with any fighting style that gives you spread is freaking insane. Oh, is it? Yeah, because it spreads from the from both targets basically. Ah. Uh. You're literally stacking them up and doing double damage. This has always been like in, in MMOs a thing. Or you you open up like something that uh, mirrors your attack and it's an AOE attack to begin with, so it's like cross mirroring kind of thing and like a four target. Mm. So hatred and teleport. Like personal hate delivered right to you. Yeah, uh, uh, let's see. This is work. Oh. Yep, it works. Turn that off. Oh god. Ah. Ah, shit. Oh, well. Another match. Now do we if have could, company? If you could add an indicator line of Hatred's range yeah. to your own character, mm -hmm. that would be clean. Yeah, I know, I know. Like, it's it's the constant trade-off between um, looking... looking not like a game, mm -hmm. because it helps with Mercer. The less numbers and the uh, like clean cut UI and everything that you have, yeah. the, the more you're like, okay, I'm just in this world and I'm fighting. It's not I'm playing this game where I'm in this world and I'm fighting. Yeah. And it's like a subliminal thing that happens. But uh, at the same time, if it's not clean enough, you end up really stuck in this world and saying, I'm playing an annoying game which doesn't let me immerse myself. <laughs> so you're like setting out to do good and you end up like doing the exact opposite. Really stick to you. Yeah, stealth works now, by the way. Stealth works now? Oh, nice. No. Too, amb <laughs> too ambitious of a plan. Okay, but I have your counter build, I think. Yep, definitely have your counter build. Why are you still alive? Near me. Watch it. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking the same. Oh. 
Oh no. Oh yes. Almost got myself. Woof! Ah well. If you don't do you in, I'll do you in. Oh. Yeah. Are you standing still right now? I was like shamelessly defeating someone else. Didn't have time for you. Uh Sildid and Osta and No! Come on! Ah yes, no, I <sighs> It just goes to show you that uh, I really need some, like, bigger visual indicator for your health or something, like on, on the sides of your screen, perhaps. Yeah. Especially when you're, like, low health. Yeah, you really can't tell if you're about to die. Yeah. Uh, maybe, like, a screen shake when you take big damage. Kind of something, like, you know, have you been punched, like, in the face? Punched in the face? Yeah. In real life? Yeah. No. It's like... It feels like it has a very specific feeling to it. Like the buzzing and the... Yeah. And the teeth, basically. Like it, it, depending on where you get stuck, but like anywhere in the um, chin or, you know, left and right of yeah. the mouth. You, you feel the teeth, the nerve kicking in. It's like a really bad headache from like, you know, if you have a bad tooth or something. So, so that feeling really sticks with me with like, like, like a rumble on the camera. Like, you, you really can raise like it. If you added, uh, like fading red around the entire screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like a lot of people would ask for, like, an option to disable it. Because mm -hmm. if it's too, like, too much, mm -hmm. it would be, like, too much of a distraction to stay alive. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that would be a good way to indicate that you were on your screen. But it's still, I don't know, because right now you have your bottom bar, which is green, and then you have your uh, mana above it, but then you also have your own character's mana and health underneath it, which, and both of those are in different units. Because the one underneath your character is where you're mostly looking, and that's in, what, five orbs, but it's actually 10 HP, so that's a little mm -hmm. confusing. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you ever look down at your HP along your bar. So... Yeah, no, yeah, I, 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 I do get that. Um, and for example, it might be, you know, a good idea to just disable one of them when you're playing in one camera versus the other. This is also possible. Like, um, maybe just have the world UI only available when you're in top down view and the other one when you're in, um, well, not top down view. You know what I think would be good? Here's a wild suggestion. Remove the HP bar from the very bottom of your screen. Mm -hmm. Remove your mana bar from the bottom of your character, but keep the mana bar at the bottom and keep your HP mm. on your character. Mm. So oh, yeah. you just uh -huh. have your mana and your skills and your block, your shield, and then on your character you can see your health. Uh, would you still keep the orb for the... Yeah, the orbs is what you would be keeping. You'd just be removing that inner white circle around your character. Unless that's like... See, I was, gonna, I was thinking like, but that's also an indicator to your opponent how much mana you have. Right, 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 but right. As of the current build of the game, but this it doesn't the, matter. Yeah. Well, it does. Like the the fact that it needs to be tuned doesn't mean that um, it, it's not gonna be there. Like uh, the fact that it takes less mana, you know. Now. Yeah. The mana, mana still plays like an important role, like uh, this energy. Yeah. 
Um, it's it's entirely possible that the numbers need to be increased for it to be. But it's gonna it's basically a trade off between having um, having a good flow of abilities like one after the other versus virtually spamming everything. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, you need know, like that sweet spot. Oh, I almost died. Oh, almost good. Oh shit! You self destructed. What's this? There's too much damage. Conquer it. Oh, what? You just said you were conquered. Then what? Ow. Ow. There's more of that thing. Who dares cast something? Ow. What? So you're still alive? No, oh fuck. Oh my god. How, how are you still alive? You have like an inch of hell or what? No, it's here. Duh. Hmm, that might have been a bug. I was moving here. I don't know how. I don't know how I did that. Yeah. You know what? What's a bug? The bug is that like I, I killed you after I had died. So I got your spear at the end of the day. Oh my god. And I just like respawn with two spears. Excuse me, just killing everyone in the radius. Okay. Freaking bots. Like, leave me alone. As soon as I'm gonna win. Kyo's gonna win. Go, kill Kyo. Don't be stunned, just kill him. Bots me. Yay. Oh, what? I didn't even see where you killed me from. Of course, Jasmine. Stay calm and be judged. Oh my god, I'm stuck on this. Really? I. No, 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 this is bad. This I is really bad. <laughs> like 6 damage, AV, 5. I need to read it, you know. This is with Berserking now that it's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four. Four. Ouch. That is so strong. Judgment is actually strong. If you're not being focused by anyone. Yeah, but that's exactly the point. Like, it's a sniper. Oh, yeah, I'm upset. How is he killing me? I can't move. Yeah, whatever bot has the... Oh, what? 13 5. Yep. 3. How did you win with 3 kills? <laughs> 3 kills is also not how you win, man. <laughs> Sniper mode, the engage. Yeah. That's fine. Um, That's fine. Can try Guardian as well yeah. with uh, with Judgment. Oh my god. I need to do What do I want to try? A stealth? Oh, I know exactly what I'm playing. A stealth stun build with <laughs> with spiritualist moving through. I love this. Like this is you're digging the game in exactly the way I had envisioned people that would, you know. It's like yeah, it right now I'm a motherfucking maid with an axe because I can. <laughs> they told me Yeah. Oh, the bots are so oblivious to self now. Yep. They will even actually let you go if you are already being targeted. Whoa, what the hell? 
else or not? No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no, what? You found this freaking silly. No, let me go. Let me out. I want out. Oh, uh, I'm basically a, a tank sniper right now. This is insane. Right. Yeah. I have like the, um, the fighting style from, um, from Guardian. I know where you are roughly. What the hell? I told you I know where you are roughly. <laughs> I was just like marching over like crazy until I started getting feedback on the judgment. <laughs> could be, could, could very well be. I think the judgment needs like a visual indicator on the cursor rather than the player. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I feel like there could be so much done to judgment to make it better. Mm, what would you do? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh, have you ever played League of Legends? Yeah, of course. So. Soraka. So yes, I'm a bit rusty. So you'll have to like. Um, Ideally, provide a video or something that would really help. Okay, okay. I mean, I'm When I, the, the second I seen Judgment, I thought of Soraka. Oh, Soraka. Here. Uh, what are the skills? Uh, yeah, you right. So go to 40 seconds. Okay, that's meant. <laughs> 